But the other issue, Mr. Mashal, I wanted to put to you, and, and I think it's a, a, an issue of vital importance for democracy in this country, is the question of coalition government. Let me remind listeners of what happened in 2011, the last local government elections. On that occasion, the ANC won 58% of the vote and got 153 uh, uh, seats. Now, and the DA got 34%. Now, Three years later, 2014, there was a significant swing uh, against the ANC in Gauteng, 11% Mm -hmm. swing against the ANC. Mm -hmm. If you got that similar swing this time, then it would very probably take the ANC beneath 50%, which would mean that there would be a hung parliament. But even an 11% swing wouldn't be good enough to take the DA above 50%. So the most likely outcome, it seems to me, you know, almost... Uh, almost a, a certain outcome, in a way, is that there will be what we call a hung council, i.e. there will be no majority. And someone will have to do a deal with someone to enter into a coalition uh, government. Now, let's suppose you uh, have got 45% of the seats or something like that. Who would you partner with in order to, to, to get yourself into government? Who would be your, your, your uh, best bedfellow in that sense? Please tell us. I think, Richard, it will really be premature for, for me to really talk about hung parliament and coalition at this early stage of our campaign. Well, Mr. Mashaba, uh, would you I've say been, it's not I've early stage? This, now for the last four no, months. no, no, no. Let yeah, me jump in immediately. Two full months. Let me jump uh, in immediately. The, the, and, uh, it's not an early stage. Minute, let me tell you what, uh, what's happening on the ground. It's because not an early stage. On the it's, ground, it's, the election's on the, on, the, on the horizon. Four, five, six, uh, yeah. hmm? The election is on the horizon. Voters are yeah, deep but into this campaign. To, they uh, need to know. More than two, we're about 76 days away from, from the from the, day, from the day, voting date on the 3rd of August. And uh, one thing that it says to me, every day I'm out there in the communities. And the more I engage with them, our people are saying, that Herman and the DA, you've got our vote. The city is going to really get your outright majority. And that's really what I need to really focus on. Not about coalition. It's premature. I think I'm happy to talk to me on the th- on the fourth of August when the election results are, are announced, then I will respect the mandate of the voters. Mr. Mashaba, right now I'm not really prepared, or in fact prepared to entertain really disregarding what the voters are telling me on the ground. Mr. Mashaba, do you not think a voter has every right to know where you would put your coalition? In government, would you go? <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Would you <laughs> go with the ANC, or it's would you go exactly with the what EFF? I'm is, let's wait for. Because no, no, no. Then you know what? I will really be then uh, reacting on the mandate of the voters. But no. before that, it's premature. The voters are saying to me right now: "says Please go out and really talk to the people because your, your, the city is, is being damaged. Unemployment is getting worse. Corruption levels in, in our city, in our country, is unacceptable." So, you know what, I'm encouraged and inspired that every time they are going to those communities to really look at that despair. Mr. And Mashaba. Saying, you know what, we're not going to really be abused any further. We gave the ANC 22 years to exploit us. We trusted them. They abused <coughs> Mr. us. Mr. Mashaba, Mr. Mashaba let, me, let, me, let me put the question very simply to you. There is a huge difference between an ANC-DA coalition and a DA-EFF coalition. As a voter in Johannesburg, people have a right to know where you would go. Would you do a deal with the ANC and keep them in power, or would you do a deal with the EFF and bring Julius Malema into city government for the first time in this country's history? People need to know that. Do you not see that? But Richard, it's exactly what I'm saying. Is I'm, I'm in daily contact with the voters of this country. I'm going to communities from Senton to uh, Zanspare to Carlson. The voters are saying to me, please, Work hard to really get an outright majority. Why should I actually disregard them? Of I'm course. happy to, to entertain uh, the, uh, on the 4th of uh, August when the voters have actually made the decision. But to be honest with you, my voters will be cross with me, upset with me, if I'm going to be talking about coalition. Well, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I think you are denying people the opportunity to make an informed choice when well, they vote for you. That, you that may, so? They have every Imagine right to know the, who you would yeah, do a deal with. Richard, let's let's really take some calls. I'm going into a match uh, to already you sent to your players. Let's already prepare for a shootout. Well, let's, see, let's, shootout. let's see, think, let's see what the callers have to say. Players. Let's, when you actually go out like I'm, I'm a leader of, the, of my campaign, I'm saying to my voters, I'm saying to my team, we're going out to win. 
we, we've, uh, we, there is no better time in this country for DA to win Johannesburg. I un- Important. Mr. Mishab, Mr. Mishab, I understand. It is the order of the day. I understand, and people are saying Mr. Mishab. We voted for the, for the corrupt ANC government for the last 22 years, and we're not going to give them a chance any longer. Mr. Mishab, let me be honest with you. I think it's outrageous that you won't answer the question. I think people have the right to know who you would do a deal with, because they need to make an informed choice. But let's see what the callers think. Uh, on line five, we've got Paul in Johannesburg. Paul. Can you hear me? Mm. Paul, good yes. morning. Oh, yeah. Um, well, um, I'm very happy for, for Hamid Mashaba to be living business to tell us. We are so excited. And um, we just want him to be the mayor of, of, of Johannesburg because uh, I think we are so tired of the empty, empty promises that uh, the AT government has been giving us. Very good. We Paul, so Paul you. you're, you're obviously yeah. a supporter of Mr. Mashaba. Who, who do you think... The DA, if it's a hung council, who should, who would you want the DA to uh, form a coalition with? The EFF or the ANC? Which would be your preference? None, I, I, none, none. I don't think um, they're like fit enough to, you know, to form an alliance with us. So what if they, what if the DA and Mr. Mashaba do not have over fifty percent of the council seats, and it's a hung council? You, are you saying that the DA should not enter into any uh, coalition agreement? And that should they should give up the idea of being in power at that point? Well, um, I think we are, you know, confident enough that we we, we will um, win this. Uh, um, the okay, let's turn to John in Soweto, line two. John, John, are you there now? I'm there. John, uh, what's how, your view on this you? subject? How are you? I'm very well, thanks, John. How are you? Good morning. Good, good. I, I've got two questions for Mr. Mashaba. Um, uh, firstly, um, he, 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 he's uh, running away uh, to answer the question for coalition. And now my question is, uh, in Soweto, some members of DA, they are unhappy about DA. Uh, I want him to, to answer that question. Who is he going to do coalition with between... Uh, EFF, ANC, UDM, COPE, and, and all those uh, political parties. That's one. Number two, he, in his statement, he is saying that um, there's no roads in Soweto. They want to come in and, you know, look after Soweto people. In which part of Soweto there's no roads? Because... My understanding, Mr. Mashaba doesn't stay in Soweto. I'm staying in Soweto. He stays in Athol. So I want him to uh, to answer those questions. John, thank you very much for those questions. Uh, Mr. Mashaba, you okay, have a, can I have right uh, to answer uh, John's uh, two questions? Please. Start with the first one. Yes. Um, the John, I'm um, right now in. I just uh, there's a settlement just behind um, the Parapanat Hospital. I just give you one of them called Mutwa Lady, named after really one of the stalwarts of this country's history. And the other day, last week, I was saying to the community, I really wish to I really understand if Mr. Mutwa Lady's family is aware of what the ANC government is doing to their name. Just behind Parakwanath Hospital, where our people don't have access, they don't have roads, they don't have uh, electricity, they, they're using pig toilets. 22 years in our democracy, just behind Parakwanath Hospital. I don't have to really take you deep into Soweto, in Middlelands, uh, in Naledi. And uh, I'm happy to really take any generalist, anyone, in this, in, right in Soweto. Very where good. our communities live in conditions which actually... And Mr. Mishaba, the, the first question about the co- human rights. The first question so about if, the if, 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 if John lives in maybe a nice part of Soweto, that's great. And that's really what we want uh, to really see happening. Okay. We want to really make sure that we can turn this city no. out to really make sure that... Every member of the city has got basic services. And the first question about coalition. He, he, he asked the question I put, which you declined to answer to me. I'm not a voter in Johannesburg. John clearly is in Soweto. Yes, what's, okay. What's now, let me turn to, with to the, with the second one regarding uh, the question. Uh, um, uh, As I repeat, uh, Richard, I'm on the ground every day to talk to, to the voters. And the voters of Johannesburg are saying to us, we're going to give you outright majority. So I'm not really sure which one, obviously. You but he's asking you, here is a voter, Mr. And, Mashaba, and John who wants to know. He lives in a, in a democracy, and he's got the fullest right to, to really vote for the party of his choice. But at the end of the day, fortunately enough, or enough, citizens of the city today, 
they, they sit in a country in a city which doesn't provide services to them, unemployment really being a high live in a filthy city. Well, it's a fascinating debate, and this is something that only the people of Johannesburg can sort out on August the 3rd. And apparently, we'll have to wait to August the 4th, Mr. Mashaba, to hear whether or not you will do a deal with the EFF or with the ANC. And let me make this prediction. You won't get a majority. You'll have to do a deal with someone. But, Mr. Mashaba, thank you very much for being on this show. It was a great, uh, great segment. Thank you very much.